Uh, I've been here over 40 years now. And I think one of my first memories is, you know, as a young 20-year-old, you think, am I in the right job? Am I in the right place? And uh, I was asked as an ASM to stand and hold a sword um, in Valkyrie for Alberto Remedios. Uh, and he sang the section about no tongue come being pulled out of the, of the tree. And I remember holding this sword and him grabbing it and feeling him singing and the sound coming through my body through this sword. Um, it was one of the most amazing moments and I remember it being a defining moment in as much that I thought, yes, you are in the right place and you are doing the right thing. I suppose coming through uh, into the sort of later stages, the, the, the um, Peter Grimes, the last Peter Grimes that we did with Stuart Skelton, uh, which is very challenging for every single department. I mean, you know, the one thing that I have noticed over the 40 years that I've been here is that the one thing that has remained pretty constant is the standard of the technicians uh, that work in this building, and they are amazing, and they always deliver. They really do. Um, and I suppose on Grimes, you need everybody at the top of their game. There are some of the hardest scene changes ever in, uh, in that show, in that production. Um, one of my favourite memories is, <laughs> is in the, uh, you get the wonderful quartet and then the curtain comes in and then you have the passacaglia and you have the hardest scene change in the world to do, which is to get from the key into uh, Grimes' hut. And Ed Gardner, who was conducting, asked us, told us, asked us not to start the scene change until quite a bit of a way into the Passacaglia because of the noise. So I just remember standing there, holding everybody back, and this beautiful music happening, and everybody going, we've got to start this, we've got to start this. Um, and eventually, of course, uh, we started and, and we got to do it. But Stuart Skelton used to stand next to me just before this huge scene that he was about to go, with his arms folded, going, Phil, you're not going to do it, mate. You're not going to do it this time. Of course, every time we did. But he used to wind me up, which I still cherish to this day. It's a, oh yeah, I love him for that. Uh, other great moments, I mean, I think the first time that I heard the, the music going from the forest into the temple in, pa in um, Parsifal, that section of music is so beautiful and so exquisite, and you don't want to spoil it or everybody creeping around. But uh, that was wonderful in the Lenhoff production. I think I've been very lucky. I've worked with, over the 40 years, I've worked with so many brilliant directors and wonderful designers and great singers. And of course, the chorus and the orchestra. Uh, it's an opera fan's dream, and that's what I do. I mean, I get to sit for six hours a day in a rehearsal room listening to people sing. I mean, what? it's fine, it's great, I can do that. Uh, the joy of having, like, okay, we'll run out one of Parsifal this morning, you know, you just sit there going, okay, that's great.